everyone and welcome to Cricut Time. Subscribe to see new videos each week with project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. Hey everyone and welcome to Cricut Time. Today we're going to be reviewing Sendel's DTF system. We're going to be doing a sublimation hack that you can use not only on products like polyester, but on things like cotton as well. Let's get started. If you're not familiar with Sendale, they are a company that specializes with DTF sublimation process, and they also offer a few things like some puff vinyl as well. Today, what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at their DTF sublimation process. For today's test, I have a regular polyester bag because I want to see if the colors are going to come out just as vibrant as they would on normal sublimation. And then the big test, I have a cotton shirt and I want to see if it will sublimate on here as well. So let's open up the package and see what we have to work with today. So the first thing out of the bag is the Sendel DTF transfer powder. So this bag is a 500 gram bag and it has a couple different pictures of things that you could use. So this has a jean jacket, shoes, a bag, and a pillow. And the other thing in the bag is this Sendale Premium DTF Transfer Film Sheets. So when you're using your DTF system, you do need to use the DTF transfer sheets. You can't just use your regular sublimation sheets. So these two do need to work together. I am excited to see if these colors do come out quite as bright as the company is claiming they do. Um, it's supposed to come out soft, just like sublimation, and it's supposed to be really bright colors. So let's give it a try and see if that's true. Well, let's get started. When you get your package, you're gonna know that there's print side. This is pretty important. Make sure you keep in mind which side the print side is at all times. So here it is. You can see it's pretty opaque. That being said, your printer is not going to be able to pick this up very well. So one more step that you need to do when you're using the DTF transfer film, instead of using sublimation paper, is that you do need to take some tape and stick this on to a regular piece of printer paper, just so that your printer can actually see it and pick it up so it knows where to print. When I look at the two different sides, they feel almost the same. I'd say the printing side is just slightly smoother. But what we're going to do is we're going to get it ready with the paper. So the print side goes up. I'm just going to line it up to this paper here. And then I'm just going to take some tape and tape it on. All right, so my paper is ready. I'm going to stick it in. I've got a little bit hanging out of the bottom, but I think my Epson 2850 can handle A4 paper anyway. So I'm gonna give it a try and see what happens. Um, I am going to leave another paper in the back. For whatever reason, I've noticed this happens to me. If I'm only using one paper, the printer has a hard time pulling it in. This happens not only with this one, but with my 2750 that I just use for my normal house stuff. Um, so I don't know, if you have that problem, just try sticking another paper behind. I don't know why it works, but it seems like it does. I am gonna take my tape side and put that side down. For my 2850, I do want the print side facing up. Um, so yeah, on your, your transfer sheet, that part's gonna be facing up. Okay, I'll go hit my print button on my computer and we'll see how this does. Setting this up to print is actually really easy. You don't even need to go through Design Space if you don't want to. Today I'm in Microsoft Word, and I'll start out by setting my margins to narrow, so there's lots of room for my picture. Now I can just pull in my rainbow. I picked up this rainbow on Etsy, and I'll include its link in the description below. All I really have to do now is just adjust the size. So I'll click on my image, Click on Picture Format, and over on the side here, 
I can just put in the size I need. I will be putting this on a kid shirt, so I'll make it 6.5 inches wide. Now I can press print. I'll be using my Epson 2850, which has been converted into a sublimation printer. I just have to make sure my settings are correct. I want this to set on photo matte paper and the quality setting to best. That's it. Now I can press print. Well, the printer is done. Let's check it out. When the ink first comes off of the printer, make sure you don't touch any of the colorful part. I think that the image quality looks really good. Um, it's going to be a little bit dull when you first take it off of the printer, and that is normal. Think about when you use a Cricut infusible ink transfer sheet, how when you first take it out of the package, it's a bit dull, but the heat activates it and brightens the color up. So I am excited to see what this is going to look like once we heat it up. I'm just going to do one more of these because I want to do two different images for two different designs today. So here it is fresh off the printer. I have done two of the same design. We're going to put one of them on the bag and the second one we're going to leave how it is and do a side by side comparison and see if the colors do brighten up or not. Putting designs into position is always easier for me if I've cut them out. So I'm just going to cut this out, being careful not to touch the ink. So now what we'll do is we'll just put this down on a tray. So now I'm just going to take a bit of the transfer powder and I'm just going to sprinkle it on. I want to cover up the whole area. So now what we'll do is we're going to roll it back and forth. We want to make sure that we cover the area really, really well. We want the whole thing covered in powder. Up and down, back and forth. Now we'll just tap off the excess. And this is ready to stick on. I'll repeat that process with this one as well. And then tap off the excess. All of this can just get put right back into the bag. We've got a piece of parchment paper here and I'm just going to put this underneath. One thing you need to do when you're using this DTF powder is you need to melt it and heat it up. You can use your oven. I'm going to be using my heat gun today. For DTF powder to work, you need to heat up the powder so that the image will be able to adhere to the fabric. Heating the powder up will melt it and cure the design. You will know it's working because it will get more vibrant as it's heated up. So what we're gonna do is prep this. Use my lint roller to get off any loose fibers. I have my heat set to 300 for 25 seconds, but we're just going to give this a quick press just to get rid of any moisture that is in the material. I have a piece of parchment paper here, and what we're going to do is just put this on the inside just to protect it. You don't have to fold it in half, I just did that so it'll fit. So we're going to take our design and place it on. Yeah, that looks good to me. I'm going to take another piece of parchment paper and stick it over the top. And now we're going to press it. When you're doing this, try to stay as still as you can. Any wiggling side to side will smear the image a little bit. So just try to avoid that. 
and we're left straight up. And this looks pretty good. We want to peel it off right now, but we can't. We have to wait for it to be cool to the touch. So I'll just set this to the side while it's drying and we'll do the next one. Give this one a press. Now I'll just take my lint roller and use it to remove any loose fibers. I don't like these little wrinkles. I might just press one more time. I'm just gonna iron it better. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is take our design and line it up. I like to take my time when I do this part, make sure I like the position before I put it down. Now I wasn't quite as concerned with the bag because, well, it's just a bag, but with a t-shirt, I do want to make sure this does not move. So I'll use some heat resistant tape and I'm just going to get this to stick it down so that I know for sure this design isn't going anywhere. I don't want any of the ink to accidentally go onto the back of the shirt, so I'll just grab some parchment paper and stick it inside to protect the back of the shirt. I'll take a second piece and stick it on top to protect my heat press as well. And once again, I will lift my heat press straight up. All right, so these are a cold peel. It feels good. So let's see how it works. It is very easy to get off and it looks really good. There's a little bit of shine to it, which I like, and the color came out really, really nicely. When I compare this one to the other one that we printed, you can see that the colors do get quite a bit brighter. This is nice and yellow, whereas right here, it's kind of like a light brown almost, and the pink is way brighter. So I am happy with that. It feels smooth and soft. The rainbow is also cooled down, so I'll just take off the tape and let's see how this one comes off. Beautiful. You can see almost all of the ink comes completely off. It's soft. And now let's do the stress chest. Yeah, I can stretch it and the design is still beautiful. I do love the colors. It came out super vibrant. And actually this process was pretty easy to do. Well, thanks for joining me today as we reviewed the Sendell DTF system. Overall, I have to say that I am pretty impressed with how well this all worked and I will be using it again in the future. If you want to try this out, there are some coupon codes in the description below where you can get 10% off yourself. When I think about the quality, I am pretty impressed with how it turned out. It's soft. It's got a bit of a glossy finish, which is really nice. Um, everything came out really crisp. And I did love, love, love the fact that I can use this not only on polyester, but on cotton as well. When I do the stretch test, it stretches really nice and it's really soft. I don't think this is gonna be cracking or any of that kind of issues. Um, so I do think this is something I'm gonna use a lot more in the future. Well, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more project ideas, tutorials, and product reviews on all things Cricut.